This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath. Welcome to the year 2022 and welcome to Space Garden. This is a little bit of an unusual one. I think we've seen the eight player version of this map, but this is the six player version and this is a 2v2v2, which we don't get very much in Kane's Wrath. So I'm glad to be starting this gear off with this match as the orange plane screen. This is Moonlight. Their teammate as the blue plane, actually Traveler 59, so kind of a double screen team. This is Brocco. Just to the south as we continue like a clock. This as the pink Traveler 59 is Guaspari. And their teammate as the purple marked of Kane is Paleo Diet, which I think is something a lot of people might be attempting around this time of year. Now, ooh, getting the first EMP off very nicely done there by Paleo Diet. But as the green nod, this is your horse. Hosted some tournaments, had some good times in Kane's Wrath, hosted some pretty good events in 2020 and 2021, and rounding out this player. 2v2v2 as the red marked of Kane. This is Bike Rush Owns. So that is how the teams go. Moonlight and Brocco, kind of a double screen team versus Guaspari as Traveler 59 and Paleo Diet as marked of Kane. And then as a double nod team, we have Your Horse and Bike Rush Owns. So of course, Bike Rush Owns is perhaps the standout player, but, you know, Moonlight, Bracco, Paleo Diet could all be Smurfs of people that you might recognize. One of them might be Drive or Futurama or someone else. I, am, I don't know, maybe even Dirty Dutch. Anything is possible, but they also could just be some folks that uh, we're not as familiar with. Everyone does start with Blue Tiberium, so that's something to note. Big cash boost at the beginning, and then in the center, as we did see at the start, there is a little bit of Blue Tiberium as well, but it's kind of awkward to retrieve, so I don't know how much we'll really be seeing people use that. In the comments, some people uh, always ask, why are there not more growth accelerators? They're generally not worth it, but on maps with blue Tiberium fields that are easy to access, you are much more likely to see growth accelerators. And also people have been asking recently, like, where are the screen games? Well, here you have got a triple screen. Actually, it's screen and nod only in this. Obviously, some sub factions here, but screen and nod only. No GDI. And it looks like we've got some fast teching coming out of a couple of different players. We had someone going, yeah, Crane as well. So... A variety of builds, double War Factory for Paleo Diet. Your horse went crane and got four refineries pretty darn quickly, adding on a second War Factory. Pretty much everyone is optimizing around that blue Tiberium. Kind of curiously, Bike Rush Owns almost seems a little bit behind in his blue Tiberium harvesting, but uh, I guess he'll be okay. He'll have to rely on on that famous unit control of his. Paleo Diet with the first EMP, now with the first Harvester kill as well. Maybe even be able to get a second Harvester kill as more reinforcements come in, and your horse is just not really ready for this. Spreading the damage out across a couple of Harvesters, but even so, he's still going to be able to get two additional Harvesters if he uh, focuses that guy down. So the total is three Harvesters, and a fourth almost certainly will fall. An additional Hand of Nod gets deployed. Your horse drops an additional MCV, and fortunately, that doesn't get targeted down. I think the count is four, maybe five harvesters in total. And Rocket Squad's having some real tough times actually killing off these bikes before the bikes kill the harvesters. Another one goes down. Bike Rush Owns drops an obelisk, drops a disruption tower as well, trying to help out his buddy, your horse. And finally, the bikes have been pushed back, but not before taking a couple of more swipes at those harvesters. Bike Rush Owns has troubles on his own home front. Bunch of Seeker tanks, but the EMP does land there as Bike Rush Owns with that Marked of Kane EMP access is going to be able to shut down a couple of these Seeker tanks, take them out with his avatars. Focusing on that tech does potentially leave you vulnerable. I think these guys are going to be able to recover. I think the early Harvester kills are recoverable from this situation. Lightning Spike gets deployed. This could be to preserve that vision, although that's not an especially important part of the map. If you lock down with a stasis that tech center, you could cancel a Redeemer that's on the way. But in this particular case, the EMP lands. Bike Rochones cleans up the Seekers. One, maybe two Harvesters going down 
over the course of this and the disruption tower causing some real hardcore glitches even for the observer here you know who's supposed to be all seen but uh, we do have an expansion out to the middle of the map by your horse starting to take that big green field as well as Bracco and Moonlight. So two teams in the north heading for the middle of the map. Meanwhile, our friends, ooh, we do have a signal transmitter and an Eradicator Hexpod emerging just at the same time as an additional MCV coming out here for Guaspari, who we haven't been paying too much attention to considering how much action has been happening on the north side of the map. It kind of makes me curious if uh, one of these teams on the north side of the map is going to kind of go for each other and let our team in the south, who hasn't moved towards the middle until just now, kind of get a free buildup. Your horse took a little bit of damage from Paleo Diet, but it looks like Guaspari, who uh, is maybe going to be taking some punishment from Baraco, but Guaspari has kind of just had a free buildup this whole time. Got up to an Eradicator Hex Pod. I mean, you've got so much Tiberium right in your starting location. It's like having a main, a natural, and perhaps even a third all in one base. So you can really go pretty far, get a pretty big army just off of one quote-unquote base on this map. Eradicator Hexpod steps out by itself. We've seen this happen many, many times before. Cultists being added on. I assume that means there's a stasis chamber researching fast legs. Yes, there it is. Redeemer is out on the field. I'm going to take a guess that that's bike rushes, but it also could be uh, your horse or paleo diet. And normally an Eradicator Hexpod or any epic unit just out on its own by itself like that would be an point that you want to say, you know, go and EMP that thing and kill it. But in this case, there isn't actually a lot of ground forces on the front lines for Bracco to be able to kill that off. Moonlight comes in with a couple of tier ones leading the charge before the, there's one redeemer, before the tripods actually show up. Just heard the audio cue for a second redeemer as well. Buggy coming in for the scout. There is going to be the Prodigy stepping out onto the field. Guaspari looking to be as annoying as possible with Cultist, Prodigy, and an Eradicator Hexpod. The teleportation will be real. Icor Seed coming in here, and it looks like your horse is going for a bit of a scout there. Supercharged Particle Beams going to be trying to hold off your horse. Paleo Diet is going to have Spectres to worry about in just a moment as your horse's Redeemer now steps out onto the field. And I think things are about to go explosive. Looks like a giant meteor crashing in. The Stasis catches Bike Rush's Redeemer. And it looks like Moonlight is going to be moving in. If he EMPs that Redeemer, this could be lights out on the front line of Bike Rush owns. The Redeemer is allowed to recover, but there's enough tripods here to potentially close the distance and go for the kill on the Redeemer. Storm Column's not really being too much use, and this might be a big mistake from Moonlight. He's going to get the front line. He's going to break down the expansion of Bike Rush Owns, but is he going to do more than that? Meanwhile, the Cultists getting to work, the Mastermind, and these Corruptors, of course, keeping that war, that uh, Eradicator Hexpot alive for so much longer than it ordinarily otherwise would. That buggy still running rampant there in the south. Bike Rush Owns reforming his front line using a couple of Spectres and a couple of Obelisks from the help of your horse as well as a redeemer on standby and look at that every husk getting sniped by your horse taking them down before the engineers can be effective in recapturing those cultists turning tripods to his side guaspari is making mincemeat of Baraco, and this is not how he wants to be starting off his new year it looks like Baraco and Moonlight have both fallen a little bit short. The Redeemer didn't go down. Your Horse came in with the reinforcements, and Bike Rush Owns reforms his front line, and it looks like it's going to be a bit of a sandwich for our team in the top right. They held those positions as long as they could, but if they're getting attacked on both sides, I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to withstand. Spectre Artillery is locking down the forces of Paleo Diet, but now Paleo starting to engage with your horse could draw some of the heat from the right side of the map, or it'll just be a crash on both sides. And honestly, Moonlight and Bracco might want to try and retreat away from the front line and make sure that they've got a lot of infrastructure back at home if they need to kind of step away from the front line and rebuild back there. You don't want to lose all of your tech up on the front line. Spectres trying to find their mark. Your horse coming up short against the Redeemer of Paleo Diet. And uh, 
I don't know what that was. Something just fired off over there in the corner. Eradicator Hexapod gets phased. The EMP is good, but the phase is better. Cultist coming forward. Another tripod does get nabbed, and that Eradicator Hexapod is actually doing pretty good on health. Good repeat EMP there by Bracco, keeping Guaspari's Eradicator Hexapod in one place. Meanwhile, Bike Rashones continues to make headway against Moonlight. This is going to be a real problem. Bracco wasting all of his time attacking an Eradicator Hexapod that just won't die. And at the same time, Bike Rashones is getting closer and closer to closing in on this force. But no, Bike Rashones backs off. Additional tripods coming in from the north. Moonlight has held on for now, reforming his front line, possibly typing in the chat. And it looks like a huge amount of planetary assault carriers on the front line trying to hold off your horse. And now Bike Rush owns combining forces to try and break this Scrim Nod Armada to their south. Planetary Assault Carriers reforming the front line. Bracco is going to go for it. He's going to be trading straight up against Guaspari. And for now, Moonlight is not getting in on the action. Pack versus pack. An unbelievable amount of packs like we almost haven't seen before. And it looks like starting to push back from the front lines. Guaspari is called back all of his reinforcements from defending Paleo Diet to hold the line as the Temporal Wormhole gets deployed. And Bracco is... Can he hold the line? No, he's falling back. Everything falls for Moonlight. Four or five tripods remain, but they're not even on the front line as Bracco gets pushed back. That Temporal Wormhole neutering his packs. Guaspari retreats from the front line, calls the all retreat from the front line and completely gives up. He just walks away completely. Maybe he's hoping Bike Rush owns and your horse. Please, someone kill this buggy. Are you kidding me? It's been here for 20 minutes. But maybe he's hoping Bike Rush owns and your horse will finish off the guys in the middle and then they can go for the backstab. But either way, Tip Paper Bomb doesn't land. Spectres from your horse slowly but surely chipping away at the forces of Paleo Diet. And it looks like the front line has been completely broken for our team on the south, the MCV getting targeted down. Meanwhile, Bike Rush owns encroaching on the double screen team on the right side. But is it going to be enough? Bike Rush owns now has the full might of tripods and planetary assault carriers to worry about. He's got a ton of avatars on the front line. Then the Rage Gen fires off. The avatars getting caught on each other, trading against obelisks as harvesters get targeted down. Paleo diets harvesters on the wrong side of the map. The last couple of tripods are going to fall, and Bike Rush owns is four. Forces. The EMP's coming in to seal the deal. The husks getting sniped. The engineer will not be able to reclaim those and get a boost. Avatars and specters for your horse marching their way slowly but surely to the front line as the Scrin Air Armada cuts down to the south and over to the west, heading for your horse's base the long way. Waspari and Paleo Diet completely retreating from the center of the map, giving it over to Bike Rush Owns and your horse. But what have they won for themselves? The Tiberium is almost all gone. Actually, they've got this blue Tiberium. A good amount of blue Tiberium in total. EMP ready to go for Bike Rush Owns. That could be instrumental in sealing this game up and finishing it out. Bike Rush owns in your horse looking unbeatable, looking impossible to stop as the air armada of Bracco slowly crumbles bit by bit to the superior Tib Core missiles of the Nod team. Lasers versus lasers. In this case, the red lasers win as something just crashes down, perhaps an air unit some kind of strike force from your horse or bike rush owns. Avatars closing in, bike rush owns and your horse have secured the middle of the map and it looks like they're going to be able to stomp out Bracco and Moonlight, both of which are still in this game. They're sticking around. They're saying, we're gonna fight it out. And again, bike rush owns and your horse, they've claimed the middle of the map, but at this point, there's not a whole lot of Tiberium left to be grabbed. It's a mad dash with all of these harvesters honing in on so few remaining Tiberium patches. And of course, you've got the four fields back in your main base. And actually soon, if you clear out this, ooh, 
We actually have a mothership appearing, so that's what Moonlight has been doing. Trying to get himself a mothership out onto this map, and this could actually chain into all of Bike Rush's forces. He's gonna suicide his own base. Let's see if he can land it. The shot doesn't land! The mothership fails! It's a miss as Bike Rush owns closes the distance. The wormhole comes in. I'm not sure from who is he trying to escape, but a TIV missile comes in, or a, uh, ca a uh, meteorite crashes to the front lines, and it looks like Moonlight has been defeated. Baraco stands alone. That was an incredible attempt. Oh, maybe Baraco's going to try it. Now he's got his own signal transmitter. And, of course, it's a suicide mood. No, nope, Paleo Diet uh, has been defeated. Okay, so Paleo Diet hands everything over to Guaspari. Guaspari has got this. I think these are actual, like, these Sam turrets will actually attack you if you get too close. I'm not sure. Another mothership struck down the EMP, it looks like, landing and catching that mothership, preventing it from firing off. Bike Rush owns, clearing them out one by one. All right, the Scrin Air Armada Traveler 59 engines coming into play, and there just is not enough back home for your horse to hold off this force. Rarely do we see this many Scrin airships coming together. Your horse is going to have to leave this base, but at the same time... Oh, actually... Oh, Guaspari with the play! Stasis chambers! So many buildings trailing, trailing into the middle of the map! Is he going to be able to land it? There's actually going to be a catalyst missile! More stasis chambers! They catch Bike Rush's forces! They catch your horse's forces! The Redeemer goes down! chaining through Bike Rush's base, and the Catalyst Cannon fires off once again. The fire sail to try and shut it down, but he can't stop the tip crystals. The detonation chains all through the middle of the map. Devastation reigns down upon your horse and Bike Rush owns. Did it chain backwards? No, Bike Rush owns cut it off at the pass. Clears out the middle of the map. The armies have gone down. The cash flow is evaporated. Your horse crushing down into the old base of Paleo Diet. He escaped the middle of the map, but now Bike Rush owns has to defend against an unbeatable Scrin Air Armada to hold off his own front line. And he says, go for it, your horse, with the saving grace of our team on the top left-hand corner. Bike Rush Owens has got almost nothing left. One MCV escapes. He's trying to put out anti-air base defenses, but the SAM sites aren't in enough numbers. He's got so many Nod power plants, but he's got nothing else as Bike Rush Owens or someone is beaconing the whole middle of the map. Your horse going for a base race against Guaspari, who's got just a killer Scrin Armada. Pax and Devastator warships, they clear out almost everything of Bike Rushes. If he hasn't deposited something in the base of your horse, then Bike Rush Owns might be about to expire. His MCV taking big chunks of damage. Your horse's MCV on the high ground. Another drone ship has deployed to the front lines. The mothership's still looking around. And as long as you can uh, maybe escape off to one of these side bases, which have actually a decent amount of cash in them, he might be able to survive. EMP for Bike Rush Owns is counting down once again. The MCV getting targeted down, almost eliminated. There it goes. The Devastators get it. Bike Rush Owns has been defeated. It's down to your horse and Guaspari. The powerful land army of the ma Oh, the EMP disappeared as well because he had it when he got defeated. It got, it's gone completely from the map. Just a crater, a smoldering remain is all that is left of that EMP control center. Your horse caught in a corner. Guaspari still has some kind of income. I guess he does have the blue Tiberium and uh, the growth accelerator for the first time in its life has been critical. Your horse doesn't fight it out to the last man and rocket. He taps out Guaspari with the killer 
Catalyst Cannon in the middle of the map, completely clearing out Bike Rush's army. Bike Rush would have actually, if his army hadn't been caught there, Bike Rush owns probably would have been able to continue crushing through the ground forces. But no, Guaspari chained it all through the middle of the map. The perfect Catalyst Cannon carnage there as Guaspari takes the game for his team. That will do it for this video. A pretty insane 2v2v2 coming out here. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber signing out.